everybody welcome back to another create tutorial we're going to be starting a new series and talking about layer masks and what they do and there's quite a few so if you right click on any of your layers and you go to add you have a couple oops, a couple different mask options here and we're going to kind of go over them in their own unique videos that way they're not overwhelming because there's quite a bit to some of them so to get started i'm just going to use this artwork i made recently to kind of explain some options that the layer masks have. So to get started, we're gonna go to right clicking on the line art layer, and we're gonna go to add, and we're gonna focus on the transparency mask today. So after making this transparency mask, we see a couple things happen immediately. First, we have this layer that shows up underneath our main line art layer called transparency. It should be transparency mask, yep. And then our color wheel goes from actual color to black and white only with shades of gray in between so what we're doing here is we're creating a mask to hide things or to keep things and I often use this when I have multiple characters in my artwork and I need to draw the whole figure but then once I put them together I need to hide certain parts of the figure but I don't want to erase it and remove it completely I want to just kind of like make it invisible that way if I need to make any alterations I don't ruin that line art layer. So we can say, okay, so this artwork, I'm going to turn the light color layer off so we can see. We can say, all right, we like all this, but for whatever reason, we want to hide part of the hair. So we have my, I have a brush selected, just my standard custom brush, nothing really crazy with it. It just, you know, standard brush. I'm going to actually make this a little bigger so we can see it. I'm going to click on the transparency mask again. And right now it's at black. I'm going to leave it there. So you can see by painting with black, it sort of quote unquote erases that line art, but not permanently. It's just hiding it under for the transparency. So black is going to remove any of the line art that I'm painting over. If I want to have that come back in, I can go to white. I'm going to make this a little bigger and I can just bring that back in. So that is how you can remove and add all that. Now if you use the eraser tool, it's going to act like the black here and just hide it. But you can still bring it back with the brush tool on a white setting. I'm just going to undo all this, hide that layer again. So what happens when you use a gray? So something interesting happens. It doesn't completely remove it or hide it or erase it. It sort of makes a gradient here, like it's transparent. So if I were to have the color on, obviously the color wasn't perfect. And the lines are still there, but they're a little transparent now. And this can be helpful when you want the line art to show up, but maybe you don't want it to be so harsh. I know some artists like a, a softer line art. So that is a pretty neat way of doing that. So that way you can draw it in black. You can kind of play with the, the way that looks. So you can say, all right, I want this to be, to be black, but not super black. I want it to be gray. You can do that without actually ruining the original line art layer. So if I go to turn off the transparency mask, it's still solid black. It's still just fine. There's nothing missing out of it. But if I want to bring that um, gray back in, I can go ahead and do that. Now another thing you can do is if you go ahead and you give a sort of transparent faded look to your liner or whatever it is you're, you're using a transparency layer with, you can go ahead and blend that too. I'm going to actually zoom in so you can see this a little better. You can see right here how sharp this edge is between the black and the gray, and the transparency. You can go ahead and blend that. So if you ever need a reason to have a soft blend with the transparency, you can get that with your uh, blending tools. This is actually really nice because you can make a really interesting effect, especially if you're doing solid colors um, and you want something to fade within the color. Like, um, let's say it's, you can go back to the color layer here, if we wanted the red to fade out completely, we can do that with the transparency layer. And we'll do a transparency layer on the color in just a minute. So 
I'm going to zoom back out here so we can see that looks fine, right? We can hide that. And that's pretty much it for your transparency layer. If you wanted to, you could convert this to a paint layer, but you kind of don't. I mean, you can, and then you can convert it to transparency again if you wanted to. You know, you don't need to though. I think keep, keeping it as a transparency layer is more than enough. All right, so I'm going to take my color layer. I'm going to add a transparency filter now. And we're going to try and actually fade out some color here. We're going to fade out the uh, brush here, the hair. This is obviously not very perfect, but we can get the idea. And then we can start blending it. You can see how I instantly make a really interesting gradient effect on her hair. Even though it's technically transparent, Oops, we don't want that, we actually want light. We can get a really interesting look right here. So that's something fun to do with color. Now just keep in mind that if you go to another layer underneath, use this turquoise, that might show up depending on oops, that was light, um, how transparent that is. So even though it's not showing up as turquoise, you can see that it is making an impact on that slightly transparent hair part. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you in the next video about these masks.